What's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. This is Quick Tip number 10. Right, Y'all got to bear with me today. We got a lot going on on this one, but I found myself doing something. This has to be a quick tip. This is going to be a quick tip using the controller editor, using a MIDI mode, basically setting up custom scales. Yeah, custom scales on machine. Machine has a scale mode on it, and you can go through and you can pick all type of scales and chords on machine but you can only use the ones that they give you sometimes you might know a scale or you might even play a, a few notes on the piano that you like that that rhythm you know from C to C and uh, that's what I do I got a little scale I play I think it's like one or two notes off of the original minor and so I wanted to incorporate it so I could use it on scale mode I always wanted to pull up an instrument just any instrument have my machine hooked up to Fruity Loops and go to MIDI mode you know so I'm not using machine software no more I just go to MIDI mode and I can push buttons but I notice when I push buttons in MIDI mode it's like hitting low notes on the piano and they're they're in chromatic order so I can't really play a scale I can't push scale mode no more because it's in MIDI mode so anyway this is it this is how you make a custom scale uh, thanks for bearing with me I'm trying to explain what I'm doing you have to open up this thing right here called controller editor and controller editor has some options this is a template I, I got off the internet in a while back you might even look it up on Google it's called fidelity it's an awesome template if you go to MIDI mode on machine I can control almost everything and uh, this is what made me want to show y'all is this thing right here but just the template by itself right now it's uh it has you can't see my machine right now but if I push buttons on my machine it's actually look up here they're they're linking up here and they're playing on machine I'm pushing buttons on machine and they're opening functions in here and that gives me a lot of functions here you know I got the browser and uh, look at that it just opened the browser with a button on machine I have a button where I can opens the mixer a button here step sequencer they're all labeled it's it's saying it on machine right now it's saying playlist so maybe I'll uh, install this template for y'all or, or post this template here for y'all if y'all let me know if I get more than three requests for it anyway once you have this template um, all I had to do is you might not have that little program on your computer and what I had to do is I had to go down here to the start and I got programs so I went to native instruments and then I went right here this is my native instrument stuff and I went to controller editor and I opened it and it opens up just like that little screen I showed you let me uh, open mine back up and um, as you can see right here, these pages, these are the different options that it uh, does on Fruity Loops. You know, right now the browser, window, edit, tempo. But really what I wanted to show you all today was how to make scales. So we're dealing with the pads, not these buttons that deal with functions on Fruity Loops, like play, all type of stuff. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you push right here, host, transport, control, look at this. When I pushed it, it, it lets me know that play, stop forward nudge backward nudge and uh, song mode and it's gonna be an option all I gotta do is push it on machine and it does it so that, that's real helpful too you know using this machine MIDI mode but um, what I had to do is I had to go through each pad right here you I'm gonna show you right here and I had to, to set up if you look right here I have these banks I have three of them and um, if you go to bank a you can see look at the notes and the order that they're going in I had to make them go in the order of the keys that I wanted them to go in. Starting at low C, and then I went up a scale, you know, to C1, or negative 1. And then I went up the scale and got to C1. Then I made another page right here. I just click right here, pad pages. You go to new. I made another page, and I started right here. Now C1's at the bottom. I kept working up to C2. I worked up to C3. And then I was like, I need another one, you know. And matter of fact, I just found out I need another one because it's not going up high enough. So I made three, and I had patent three, you know, C3 at the bottom, and I went to C4, to C5, and I'm about to do another one. I guess it's going to go to C7. And uh, that's it, man. I went ahead and I made these pads, and now in MIDI mode, this is really what I've been wanting a long time. Now in MIDI, and uh, funny thing about this, this control editor, it, it makes the changes live. So I got machine open in the background somewhere back here, you know, <laughs> somewhere in Fruity Loops there it is right there you know it makes these changes in the background live so as I'm affecting stuff on here it's, it's, it's updating machine live I don't have to 
do it at, you know, at a separate time. So once I change the note on here, it changes it live. And I just want to show you what I can do now. Now I can um, you know, not even use a machine. I could go here to this Nexus plugin. And uh, I'm going to open this Nexus plugin. I put a little piano on it. And now I'm playing my scale, my favorite scale. You know, it sounds like this. You can't really hear it because uh, y'all are on the internet. But now you can hear it. But listen to this. This. So I'm gonna start from the bottom. So I might make one more to go up a little further, but that's just a quick tip right there. It's how you make a custom scale. I showed y'all if you were just watching all you have to do is go here to controller editor name the path what key it really needs to hit save it you can add different pad pages right here when you go right here to assign this is how you do it you click on a pad and it asks what note it should be you click right here and you just type in the note you can change the colors all that and uh like i said if i get more than uh, i'm gonna make it five now if i get more than five requests for this template I'll go ahead and upload it otherwise just look on the internet for it it's called fidelity and, uh, some guy made this. It's a great way to control Fruity Loops on using machine. I just push a button, and then uh, look at I pushed a button. It adds markers. I got to put a button here for loop restart step EQ, which is our step edit. I guess that is. I have a metronome button. Look at that. Turn the metronome on. The weight button. I turn the weight on. I have the overdub button for. So I have all these functions right here. We have a left and right button. I think if I'm a piano roll, it's gonna move left and right. I have a browse button to open up the browse and uh, just a lot more other stuff too you know basically everything you need to control the functions on Fruity Loops right here with the machine and most importantly the mixer button I really like that mixer button step sequencer button and playlist button but uh, this is Cadillac tracks this is a quick tip how to set up a custom scale on machine MIDI mode one